Right, this week we've been talking about uh, First Click. It's uh, the BBC's initiative to get more people online of the older generation. And uh, we've been doing things like security, uh, buying a computer. Nadine's dad's been buying a computer. Well, we've got a gentleman in here who's... Am I right in saying 70, David? Is that right? Yes, just about. Yeah. Yes. Uh, David Keith Jones, everybody, uh, who is... And I'm glad he's come in because I'm a wee bit of a singer myself. Is an opera singer, and uh, how long have you been an opera singer, David? Well, since 1970, I think you could say. So what, you weren't always an opera singer then, did you just...? I started off serious singing, it was more or less straight into classical singing. All oh, right. Before that, I'd been uh, actually a jazz drummer at school. Right. And um, we'd ha- actually been offered a, a gig for the summer, but we didn't actually do it. I went on, then went on to, to college and... My English friend got me by the scuff of the neck and said, uh, we're going down to the music shop and, uh, and buy some music and you're going to sing some stuff. And, uh, and then I started classical training at university. For Let singing. me just uh, turn that mic there just okay. a wee bit for you. Now, um, the, the, the reason you've come in, because uh, you've done the other thing as well, is that you got online fairly quickly, <laughs> but your music is on, on, online now as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, it, it is indeed, yes. I, I mean, I started uh, recording a few years ago uh, after a visit to Italy, but um, in 2008 I started uh, uploading songs and videos, my own recordings. I do everything myself, the whole shooting match, really. And um, <coughs> the, uh, the YouTube channel now, my Voce Versatile YouTube channel, is uh, closely approaching half a million. What was that there? Well, that's a bit of a mouthful. You, you, you can just Google David Keith Jones and yes. it'll come up. But it's, it's uh, Voce Versatile. It's Italian because I do a lot of Italian songs. All but, right. Uh, you don't need to bother too much with that online. Just And uh, why did you pick that route? Um, you know, is it because I mean, people go and self publish all the time was it that was it that the well, reason the reason was i suppose i was a, a frustrated um, wannabe in a sense that um in 1970 i'd just done two major roles and uh, i had the opportunity to join welsh national opera but i was already married happily married with a young child my brother was with welsh national opera and i could see the difficulties that touring brought, and I decided not to, so I I didn't take that opportunity. I stuck with the day job and stayed as a teacher or in industry later on. And But now, as I approach the twilight of my teaching career, I'm past retirement age, but I'm still teaching, I, I decided to give it a go on... On, uh, on YouTube and, uh, and iTunes. A lot of people been, you know, were talking about this whole thing of getting over hurdles about using the internet. Yes. Um, was it? Did you find it daunting trying to upload your stuff onto? Well, it was, I mean, I was an experienced user in industry, but I've been using the old system, um, what we call console-driven, and Really, when I came uh, came back, say, into teaching, all Windows and the new computing had passed me by. I had to relearn it all very quickly. And I didn't bother. I was very much a programmer. I wasn't very interested in the Internet, even, and all my students were well onto the Internet. I was behind. I was behind the game on this, and I had to teach myself and get on. And I'm very pragmatic in my life. I always do things when I need to. Now, this was the opportunity for me to push my, again, a uh, second chance on, my, on a musical career. And it's, it's like finding a, a new outlet, isn't finding it? Finding a key. And, uh, and sometimes I find my wife is further ahead than me, and she helps me. And my, my son, I, when I start recording I was using old-fashioned technology basically and my son laughed at me and said come on dad you'll be using the computer for everything within a year and he was absolutely right even though I was into computing I was in old computing yeah yeah and, and I hadn't got on to the new way of doing things so I'm slightly unusual I mean I have used for computers for you know 40 years but I was very much in the old stages, in the dark ages of computing. Yeah, um, and and now you're you're doing this, and you're on what iTunes? I'm on iTunes, which is um, I've got some copies here of of ratings. I'm beginning to make some sort of impact, and it's such a kick to see your name up with Pavarotti, perhaps five places below on the ratings. But really, when it's out, when you're twentieth 
out of 75, that's not, not too bad. Yeah. And on Amazon, I've got, I was just, I've got a couple of songs that are in first place. See, I've had you, several first places. You might have a too. fan base. Learning a new skill has created a new a David Keith Jones <laughs> fan base. Well, yes, I, I would hope I would hope that people would enjoy my music. I mean, that's really I'm not in this for money. I mean, I just want to fulfil. I feel that I've got something to offer in a new area, apart from my teaching, what I've done in industry, and I hope that I can, like everyone else, I want to fulfil my potential. And you know, I'm fortunate. I'm still fit, and I can do it. It's just the the idea of because um, everybody presumes, and this is one of the things that's come out with First Click is well, there's this presumption that it's a it's a, a younger person's medium. But yes, you doing what you're doing and not being scared uh, and and taking advice and maybe even doing courses. And I know that uh, uh, you do you work in partnership with a, a, a indeed. I mean, I I wouldn't claim any credit for any bravery here because I've got the basic training. It's just a, a matter of catching up. But I mean, my college offers courses. My our computer department at Milton Keynes College offers courses to help people get back or get into uh, computing and IT. We run Cisco, Microsoft, CompTIA, Prince2 training and so on. And I've, I've come across so many students that uh, you know, are just making a fresh start in IT and you help them in the first stages. Um, I'm going to get a clip. Uh, we've got it nice to get a clip and download it. I'll just see if it's, uh, if it's come up yet. Uh, all right, yeah, we've got it here. And this is you. Uh, is this uh, is this David this then now? Uh, this is David from his Volce Versatili YouTube. When you walk through a storm, keep your head up high and don't be afraid. The, that uh, lower register stuff is pretty impressive. When I was um, 25, you know, I sounded like a baby, really. And as you get older, your voice get if you're lucky, you can get richer. And uh, I can now sing baritone parts, and I can still sing a top C, thank goodness, which is unusual. Um, I thought maybe you want to do a wee bit of a master class with me. We've got to do it. We'll do the Ness and Dorma. Ness and Dorma. You know that one? Ness and Dorma. Tu pur e principessa nella tua fredda stanza guardi le stelle che tremano d'amore e di speranza. Ma il mio mistero è chiuso in me, il nome mio nessun ne saprà, no, no, sulla tua bocca la dirò quando la luce splende. Vincerò, vincerò. <laughs> a, bit, a bit of a frog in the throat, I'm afraid, this time of the morning. Yeah, well, no, I was going to give you. Uh, look, I'm going to write some notes down and give you some feedback on that, and maybe you could go and work on a couple of things because yes. you know. Uh, yeah, it needs looking at. <laughs> <laughs> David, we'll start. It, look, was a th it was much too low, but never mind. Yeah, David, thank you so much for coming. We come in another day with us. Um, uh, David Keith Jones. Uh, you can get him on Amazon, and you can get it on iTunes, iTunes as well. Yeah. As well. Uh, good to see you, and uh, and Ness and Dorma to you, as we say. Grazie <laughs> tanto. <laughs>